these shoes doing here? All these shoes are a big safety hazard. Good that no one got hurt. Ah, shoes here too. Ah, more shoes. Never ending shoes. Shoes, shoes everywhere. I'm old in my shoes. Hey, what you up to? Just taking a break from some Pilates. Come on in, have a seat. Thanks. <sighs> what are you guys doing? Hey, little bro, come on in, have a seat. What's up? I have one question to ask. Why are there so many shoes lying around in the house? Well, let's consult the tone. Ah, here is my tone. <laughs> I must find my page. Ah, here it is. E -e -e -e. At the dawn of the universe, there were feet. And the shoe was discovered to cover the feet. Early, less sophisticated humans could do all their tasks with one shoe. The running shoe. The tennis shoe. The sleeping shoe. Hold it! I draw the line at sleeping with my shoes. Stop interrupting! The beach shoe. The soccer shoe. The piano shoe. As time advanced, more shoes entered the universe. Every important task was given a shoe. All right, guys, that's it. Pilates breaks over. Let's get back to work. Hmm, interesting story. Hey, what's up, girls? We have a matter of great wardrobe importance. <laughs> what are you guys up to? We have enrolled you in shoe school. What? It's summer vacation. I should not be going to any school. Please, please stop protesting. We've already made up our minds. School starts in 30 minutes. Is there any tuition? All right, all right. Just show up and be ready to learn. Day one of shoe school. Now, as you can see, by these two distinct pairs of shoes, they're very much different. This one is for, for a below 40 degree weather and ice trekking snow. Ooh, but these are my bedroom delicate house slippers. Mm. These, my young shoe apprentice, are stiletto pumps. They are the most comfortable, useful, multi-purpose shoe a human can wear. Wow. This is impossible. How is this the most useful shoe? I don't see how these shoes are going to make my belly any better. So many shoes. I don't even have a driver's license. How are vans going to help me? The final day of shoe school. These are cleats. Or in England, they would call them boots. These shoes make your soccer a million times better. You can kick harder, you can maneuver better, you can control the ball better. It makes all of your soccer amazing. Wow! Shoes, so many shoes. How do I get out of the shoe nightmare? You know what? I only need one pair of shoes, and these shoes are perfect. Hello everyone! Thank you for watching our double feature, and- What? We have a double feature? Yes! We have a double feature! Didn't we tell you? Nope! Oh. Well, it's happening in 30 seconds.
oh cool, this will be really fun. Anyways, this is one of our earlier shows and we think it is super funny and exciting and we hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching our show. Wait, you have five seconds to say this. Oh, and we're going to the next episode right now. Oh, it's an art project. Cool. Yeah, it's on the future of humankind. Interesting. What are you going to use for it? I think I'll use acrylics. Oh, you can use dyes all acrylics up. Yeah, but then, like, what would I paint on? Uh, you can paint over the old used canvases. Ah, good idea. I think we have some in the garage. I'll go check. Okay. Yeah, I hear something about dad's old stuff. Apparently. Whatever it is, I'm in. Well, I found this canvas in the garage. It has no name on it, though, so is this any of your guys's? That's not mine. My artistic quality is way better than that. That's not mine either. A baby painted that, not me. Well, don't look at me. I didn't paint this. I have much better artistic skill. Okay, well, then you can paint over it. Yep. Paint over it. I think I'll resize it though. It's really big. I have to cut down. Okay. okay. Ha. <laughs> Dad just told me a famous director wants to buy a painting in this neighborhood. It's blue, orange, and squiggly lines. He even said that he wants to buy it from the painter for ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars? Yes, ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Ten. Oh my gosh. That could be the painting that she had in the morning. She's gonna cut it up. We have to stop her. Yeah. back from the park. Who paints at a public park? How do public parks have anything to do with the future of humankind? Hey guys, I'm back. And I finished my painting. Mm -hmm. So how did moving everybody to Mars go? Intergalactic. Well, I decided to go with a different angle. For our sustainable future, I think everyone should become a mermaid. What? You tried a priceless painting into that? Priceless painting? Well, this famous director saw the painting in a garage sale and wanted to pay for it for $10,000. And you just destroyed the painting. I didn't destroy it. It's right there. Here's my beautiful piece of art. No, that's my wonderful piece of art. You know, this is my beautiful work of art. No, this is my precious masterpiece. No, it's my masterpiece. I remember painting this when I was three. I still have a picture in the garage today. No, I remember painting this distinctly when I was two. I'm repeating this distinctly when I was one. Give me my masterpiece. It was mine. Hey guys, uh, I just got a phone call from that director. I guess he found it. It was a blue bowl with apples. Um, so yeah, don't worry about looking for that painting. They already got what they were looking for. Oh, oh, look at your beautiful painting.